first thing that I need to say about getting DDR5 RAM or even DDR4, I have built so many computers at this point, not for myself, but this is like a business that I have where I build computers for people. I want to make a really quick note at the beginning of this video, this Z790 right here is the only motherboard out of hundreds of computer builds that I've done or okay, so 50 plus computer builds that I've done with DDR5 because I've done a bunch with DDR4 as well. But my point in saying this is that is the only one I've been able to use all four sticks of DDR5 and get an XMP profile with. So this is hands down my favorite Z790 out there. And I've used many of them at this point. The only one that I've been able to use an XMP without having a bunch of crashes or whatever problems with my computer so i just i want to make that very clear if you're going to be getting 64 gigabytes of ram with any motherboard other than this one make sure you get two 32 gigabyte sticks because if you don't your computer's going to end up crashing and stuff and it was even unstable with this before the most recent update forgot to say to like the video subscribe to the channel leave a comment <laughs> like subscribe leave a comment all that good stuff most re when i say most recent i'm talking about like three months ago at this point but either way i just wanted to clear that up at the very beginning of this video because i've used so many different types of motherboards so many different types of ram because i like to theme computers the next computer that i'm going to be doing is a venom themed computer in time for spider-man 2 depending on when you're watching this video you know, Spider-Man 2 is going to be releasing here within the next month. So if, if we're at like Z890 territory, like a year or two down the road, when 14th generation Intel and 15th generation Intel and, and all the new AMD chips, whatever. DDR5 is going to get more stable because I'm pretty sure they're already working on DDR6 at this point. So just keep that in mind right now in 2023. Try to like get two sticks of 32 if you want 64 because it does make a difference. It, in video editors specifically or graphic design programs, etc. If you're going to be getting a 4090 or a 4080 or some very high-end GPU, you need other components in your computer to work with it. I think four, sti four sticks looks awesome. I think it looks cool. It's the only reason that I have four sticks in my computer. But I got very lucky. Because because I'm building these so often, I get to test, you know, 20, 30, 40 different types of motherboards. So, so when I do that, you know, like, I'm able to see which ones are the best. But for you, the, the, the person getting a motherboard, you don't know that. You know, you don't know, oh, hey, I've, I've used this one before. So I'm going to get this because it'll allow me to use an XMP profile. This is why, that's why I'm saying this, right? That's why I made... I wanted to make it a note to you guys at the beginning of the video because it is the only one that I've ever been able to use an XMP profile with four sticks of 7200 megahertz DDR5 RAM. This is ridiculous. So make sure you get the correct RAM. You need to do your due diligence with your motherboard in order to make sure that your, your DDR5 is going to be stable with an XMP profile. Because there are different, like there's like CL30, there's CL40, and then there's like 38, 45, 45, whatever. There's there's a lot of numbers involved with RAM and it would just, this video would literally be like another 50 minutes if I explained all of that to you. Your motherboard is going to tell you the speeds that it allows. Make sure you get that speed. And then, you know, just make sure that you're doing the research on the motherboard that you're getting so that you don't get the incorrect ram and i'm not just speaking about ddr4 to ddr5 really really long video going over ram and i'll have a bunch of b-roll footage of all of the different types of ram that i've used over the past year or two since i started building these computers but yeah catch you guys in the next one peace